guys, and welcome to the Thok Raid Guide for Arcane Mages. In this guide, we're going to be covering talents, glyphs, and tips and tricks in order to help you maximize your DPS on this fight. Let's get right into talents. Talents for this fight, um, I really like Arcane Power on this fight. Uh, the reason that I like Arcane Power is because it's up in time for the bats in Phase 2 for Heroic. Um, and off the bat, you can really tunnel a ton of damage with your heroism or bloodlust. Uh, I just find it very, very useful because those are really the two biggest burn phases are how much D DPS can you pummel into them during the first transition phase. And then, of course, getting those backs down as soon as humanly possible, especially in heroic mode, um, in the second transition phase is also very important. Uh, so keep that in mind. That's why I use that. Uh, as far as the other glyphs that I want to use uh, for this fight, I guess we'll cover glyphs first, then talents, obviously. Um, I like evocation just because of the heal, uh, and I like armors or double blink. Double blink I find essential, obviously, so between armors and evocation is really up to you. Uh, but double blink will save you during a fixate phase pretty much every single time. It's an incredible tool, so keep that in mind. Um, as far as talents goes, let's go into talents. We have the Ice Barrier versus Temporal Shield argument. Um, I like Ice Barrier, to be honest. Uh, I just think it, it mitigates more damage, and with the screeches coming out, you know, you, you have time to cast. It's not going to interrupt you or anything, um, so it's always a nice little filler spell to kind of mitigate some damage whenever personal cooldowns are called for. Um, that and a Health Stone can really save you and be the difference between life and death, death in this fight for you. Uh, so I actually prefer Ice Barrier on this fight. Um, if we go through and we look at, uh, you know, Greater Invis, Cauterize, or Cold Snap, um, I actually like Cauterize. The reason being is, again, is because if something bad happens or we accidentally do something stupid, we have that, um, that kind of get out of jail free card that we can pop and use at any time, and that also allows a little bit of forgiveness uh, during the incredibly intense phases where the screeches are coming out faster and faster, so keep that in mind. Uh, that's why I use that there. Um, as far as bombs, this is a living bomb fight, okay? Living bomb, it's a single target fight. Um, the targets aren't stacked together, so the Jailer or the Thok, neither of them are stacked, so being able to do a lot of single target damage is really essential in this fight. So living bomb, definitely your bomb of choice. Uh, as far as tips and tricks, uh, remember if you do get fixated, double blink is amazing. Um, again, if you have any, if you have engineering, so rocket boots, if you are a worgen, you can use dark flight. You have plenty of tools that you can use to get out of it. Now remember, ice block won't work. He will stomp on you through ice block and kill you. It does not work. It does not cheese the mechanic at all you will die. So run, run, run if you get fixated and use your use your movement enhancement abilities. You're a mage. You should really never get killed by that unless you get double fixated. Uh, and even then, sometimes you can get out of it. So keep that in mind. Again, um, with Lust at the start, we really want to make sure that we're just getting a nice, big, huge DPS burst at the start. Um, and then the only other thing that I would really say tips and tricks wise is make sure that when the jailers come out that you're dotting them up um, mainly fish, fishing for procs, uh, but it also helps the melee out a little bit um, And it is nice to have those dots rolling on two targets. So keep that in mind uh, But the other thing is during the bat phase on heroic, okay? Um, arcane mages can do an absolute ton of damage So make sure that you have your four stacks ready Don't just pop your arcane power the second time as soon as it's off cooldown wait for those bats to come out get your potion running um, any procs you can have up are awesome and then slam that arcane power and just start spamming Arcane explosion. Um, it is amazing on this fight. You will do so much DPS on this fight if you use that uh, Especially to those bats. Uh, you don't really need to dot them up. It's not really essential I like to keep a dot rolling just because of the explosion splash damage. It's one GCD um, So, it, you know, I like to do it um, But it, it does a ton of damage again if you can get your flame strike down Maybe you can do that with four stacks, but the, your main thing that you really want to do is that arcane explosion because it's it's an instant cast, so you don't have to worry about the screeches going off by Thok. You can just sit there and spam arcane explosion at four stacks and just do a metric ton of damage to all those adds. That's really um, a huge, huge bonus to bring in arcane mage during that phase is just the amount of damage that they can do to those adds. Um, but other than that, guys, this fight is very, very similar to in every aspect. Flex, normal, heroic, LFR, it's very much the same fight. The only difference is in heroic, you have to deal with the bats and then the yeti, and that's really about it. Um, so this guy should actually get you through pretty much any single uh, difficulty that you're going through. Uh, remember that during the screeches, if your haste is high enough, you can actually get um, keep your rune down and get an arcane... Uh, 
Arcane Charge up in between Screeches. And remember, during a Screech, you can cast things like Reapply Your Dots, you can Arcane Barrage, um, stuff like that. So you can still do damage, so make sure you're, you're uh, trying to time that out and get as much damage as you can. Also, make sure that you're keeping track of Devo Auras so that you can keep casting uh, during those Devo Auras being up. It really is going to help your damage in the overall, uh, making sure that you have some way of tracking that. So keep that in mind as well. But I hope you guys like this one, and as always, see you in the next one.